Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. Today's lesson is on essay writing, especially how to write a good hook. That would be your attention grabber. So let's start with an essay overview. In your first paragraph, you will have your introduction, which includes a hook statement, a sentence which tells what the essay will be about, and the thesis statement. Then your second paragraph will support your topic with detailed paragraphs. And last, your third paragraph, the conclusion statement that restates your thesis statement. Here we're talking about a three-paragraph essay. As I said before, your first paragraph will be your introduction. The first sentence of your introduction will be your hook. This is where you hook your reader and make them want to read more. The second sentence includes a detailed sentence that explains what the reader is about to hear or more about. And the third sentence will end with a strong, clear thesis statement. So now let's talk about the hook. If you begin your essay with something that grabs attention, your reader will want to read on. So how do you write an attention grabber that hooks your readers to keep on reading? So there are four ways of writing an attention grabber. The first one is surprise the reader. The second one is ask a question. The third one is use a quotation, like, for example, an eye for an eye, Shakespeare in Romeo and Juliet. Or the fourth one, use descriptive words. So how to surprise the reader? Well, you can start with an unknown interesting fact. For example, dogs are the pet of choice in the American household. Or start with something expected, but give it an unexpected twist. Cats are loving quiet creatures, but dogs make way better pets. Or say something that seems to contradict what other people know. Each day, over a thousand U.S. citizens require emergency treatment for serious dog by injury. The next one. Ask a question. Ask something that makes the reader think. Example. Isn't it surprising how many different modes of communication are available to us today? Or ask something that needs an answer so the reader wants to find out what it is. Example. Why do citizens need to follow laws? Use a quotation. A quotation interests the reader because of what it says, or because of who said it, or both. Use either a wise or funny quotation. Use a quotation that relates to your topic. Be sure to mention the source of the quotation. Example, Albert Einstein once said. And lastly, use descriptive words. Make the reader see the scene or feel like a part of it. Use words that relate to the five senses, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. Use words that show how something is happening or what its qualities are, using adverbs and adjectives, obviously. And finally, use figurative words that create vivid imagery, simile or metaphor, onomatopoeia or personification. So the next steps. Now that you got your hook, you need to think about your next steps. What are they? Okay, so your hook, we wrote it. The detailed sentences that will go in your introduction paragraph. And then finally, the thesis statement. So I recommend watching all the lessons in my essay writing playlist so that you have a clear picture on how to write a good opinion essay. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share the lesson. If you have any questions, please post them under the video. Until next time, bye-bye.